presidential campaign season. It's a time when candidates work to distinguish themselves. Machine gun bacon. When did we beat Japan at anything? Have you ever won a drinking competition? <laughs> Denver University professor and art collector Arthur Gilbert said it's a time 18th century caricaturist James Gilray would have relished. He believed in freedom, and particularly the freedom to insult people. <laughs> Before Gilray, there were caricatures, but they tended to be of a general nature. And Gilray does something which is really dramatic. He went after real, live people. People like the Queen of England, and William Pitt, and Napoleon. Napoleon once said that I could have defeated all the armies of Europe, but I didn't know what to do with Gilray, uh, an example of the pen being mightier than the sword. Considered the father of modern caricature, Gilray's pen drew inspiration from the elite and the everyday alike. You're a student of history. Do you have any sense of how these were received by the public when he created them? All we know about the reaction of the queen was the court was very unhappy by this. But no one put him in jail. No one tried to assassinate him. But in more recent times, satirical cartoons have resulted in tragedy, which CVA curator Cecily Cullen said is reflected in the show's title, Under the Guillotine. The idea that um, artists who go out on a limb and make such biting satirical commentary on political figures of the time are really risking their neck. Particularly this year, I think it's been really a charged subject, both with what's happened in France with Charlie Hebdo and just around the world, the, the reaction that people have had to cartoons. Gilbert said it's unclear how many works Gilray created or how many have survived the ages. Regardless, he said the caricatures provide a pre-photography visual reference for a time that had few. I come at this not as an artist, but as a historian. I was fascinated doing work on 18th and early 19th century England to find that there was a pictorial record that I could turn to and say, I know what this is about. Which might be more than future historians can say about some of the statements made on the current presidential campaign trail.